Talk about being fired up. High school girl at St. John's County speaking up, taking the microphone and demanding the school board make changes to their dress code. Now this comes as the edited yearbook photo controversy at the Bartram Trail High School continues to gain national attention. Just Sunday night, it was mentioned in Jimmy Kimmel's opening monologue on ABC. Take a listen. At uh, Bartram Trail High School, which is not too far from Jacksonville, 80 students, all female, were surprised to find their photos in the yearbook altered. Someone, now this is an original photo, somebody took it upon herself to alter it to cover up the shoulders and necklines on the kids. Here's another one. This is the original, shield your eyes, and then the, here it is fixed. Shield your eyes, something else. Mm. Well, Leah Shields has been on this story for months, talking dress code, talking yearbook photos, now with parents who are aggravated. Leah, what's next? June 8th, that is what's next. That is the next school board meeting, and that is when the board is supposed to vote on revisions for the dress code policy. And the superintendent also recommends creating a committee to oversee a single page, this one right here, of the code of conduct. This is the dress code policy page. Some of the revisions recommended by the senior director of school services include removing the term modest, defining the term distracting, moving away from the four inch measurement requirement for skirts, shorts and dresses, and instead recommending, quote, not any shorter than fingertip length or mid thigh, whichever is shorter to recognize that different students have different body types and removing the standards that separate boys and girls. The standards will be for all students. This matter is much larger than Photoshop yearbooks or dress code sweeps. It's the way young women's bodies are viewed, not only by the administration and the district, but by the world. Zoe Inone and Riley O'Keefe stood in front of the school board in the same outfits they wore in their yearbook photos that were edited. Zoe's mother explaining that her daughter is fighting a lifelong disease that makes her lose her hair. She picked a lavender sweater and a pretty necklace to help her not be mistaken for a boy. Your policies empower those who have desired to target, shame, and humiliate girls. We are subjectively judged for being immodest, revealing, and distracting to boys. The dress code changes are not official yet. That means more can be added. The revisions could be altered. But one thing is for certain. All eyes are on Bartram Trail High School and what they do next. In St. John's County, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.